this is the question i get almost every day on my dm and also under most of my video a lot of subscribers keep complaining oh not miss mary i treated infection last month yet i'm still treating an infection this month i treated infection last week and now i am still having the symptoms not miss mary was it happening why is my infection always coming back despite all the money i spent on treatment Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you five reasons why you keep treating that vaginal infection. Five reasons you keep on having that vaginal infection. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are the content you are interested in, your reproductive health, please click on the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you five reasons why that infection keep coming back. Five reasons why that bony sensation, that inching, that discharge keep coming back after treatment. The first one I have to share with you is wrong use of medication. Yes, especially in country where drug supplies are not regulated, people, not just women, general public, go to the pharmacy, get drugs without prescription and take because they feel that drugs is likely going to work for them. Let me tell you what happened. After much history taken from, so from some of my clients, not just one, not just two, from some of my clients, I found out that most ladies, most women, whenever they have inchy, whenever they have body sensation they just rush down to the pharmacy to get some antibiotics yes they say oh i'm having an infection the next thing on their mind is to get antibiotics not knowing that not all infection are caused by bacteria not all infection requires antibiotics and also if an infection requires antibiotics there are different types of antibiotics we have the bactericida we have the bacteriostatic antibiotics so you don't just go to the pharmacy to get these antibiotics so that is why generally i advise ladies out there before you go for a particular treatment speak with your doctor do a test let them know okay this is what is wrong with my clients oh this my client is not having bacterial infection it could be just fungal infection that needs some uh, some antifungal cream that needs some antifungal pastries not necessarily antibiotics so if you are having fungal infection and you are taking antibiotics definitely it's my just you might feel that really for that moment but the infection is not gone because the fungal is still there you didn't use antifungal but rather you used antibiotics and also if you are having bacterial infection and you went ahead to start taking antifungal definitely it's not going to work that is why a proper test is very important and a proper history taking from your medical practitioner to know what is really long, wrong is very very important like those from your signs and symptoms your medical practitioner your healthcare provider will be able to know okay this person has thrush this person has um, a bacterial vaginosis this person has staphylococcus aureus this person has this for proper examination so using the wrong medication might make you treat infection over and over again and over again then the second one i have to share with you is not completing your medications yes if your doctor says take this medication for seven days take it morning and evening morning and evening and you decided to take it just once a day for three days definitely you will feel relief of symptoms but it might not be completely treated that is why the doctor that tells you take this morning and evening take this three times in a day take this for 10 days take this for 12 days knows what he is doing because it depends on the severity of the infection before they know what and what to give to you so your friend treated an infection for seven days with a particular drugs does not mean that you will also treat that same infection for seven days with that same particular drug and dosage you know so not completing your medication not completing the course you were supposed to take we 
likely lead to what? Reoccurrence of that same infection. Then the third one I have to share with you is reinfecting yourself. Yes, reinfecting yourself. What do I mean by that? I'm going to tell you. For example, you are treating a particular infection. You are treating it alone and you're, you are still having sex with that your partner. Definitely that partner is going to reinfect you. That is why it is advisable while treating yourself, you also treat your partner alongside. And during the process of treating yourself, it is advisable to avoid sex. It is advisable you don't have any sexual intercourse without protection. Because if you are having sex while on treatment, your partner is likely going to reinfect you again. And after treatment, even if you did the right medication, even if you complete your dosage, because you are still having sex, sex with an infected partner, Definitely, you are going to go down with that same infection. You see these three points I listed here? They are very, very important. You take note. Please and please, when treating yourself, always make sure you complete your treatment. And always make sure you are using the right drug for the right infection. And always make sure that when treating yourself, you are treating your partner alongside. That takes us to the fourth point I would like to share with you. As a lady, you might be having constant inching. Oh, I've taken antibiotics, I've taken this antifungi. But sometimes the cause of that infection might not be an STI. Not necessarily an infection, the cause of the irritation, that body sensation, that inching you see down there might not be from sex, might not be from uh, from other things you can think of. It might just be you have been using some chemicals to wash down there. Yes, you have been using some scented soap, you have been using medicated soap, you have been using some harsh soap to wash down there. And when you are using those harsh soap, it causes an irritation down there and that results in inching. Even after you finish treating me with antibiotics and antifungi, definitely sometimes you feel, oh, I, I always have that bony sensation, I always have that irritation, I always have that pain during sex, which signifies an infection. What it simply means is that it's possible you might be using a hard chemical down there. So what I want you to take note of is look at the soap you are using to wash down there. That might be a cause. So it's advisable, like I will always tell you in all my video, what I'd advise, use warm water to wash the vulva and leave the vagina alone because the vagina is safe cleansing so be careful of what you put around the vulva because that might cause irritation that might cause bony sensation and you may feel it is an infection but it is not but the other point and the last point i have to share with you is douching or douching i am not really an english student but i i think i will have to settle down and find the correct pronunciation for this douching or douching so douching can actually increase your chances of getting infection yes with that you are altering the ph of the vagina and that increases your risk of bacterial vaginosis and vaginal trust what is douching i made a complete video on what douching is all about or douching is all about so i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below or you just search on youtube douching by nurses lecture room it's going to pop up yeah so it's going to pop up so avoid douching so if you are douching that might increase your chances that might alter the ph around thing so these are what this is what i personally have to share with you today based on what i've been getting so far and the little mini research i have done from those that have been contacting me in regards to recurrent infection i hope this video helped thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this shot is it short thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not very saying thank you bye and see you in our next video Bye.